I just published an article on functional medicine and an old friend who's also a science writer replied to my email with a quote from a book by the theoretical physicist Carlo Rovelli and his book Helgoland, Making Sense of the Quantum Revolution. And he contextualized it by saying, here is some good information for those alt-med practitioners who use the word quantum to better understand what it actually means and what happens when a physicist hears some of those claims. For this particular article, I had shared a video where Mark Hyman and Deepak Chopra, neither of who are physicists, were talking about quantum physics. So that's the context for this particular passage. I hope you enjoy. I was not aware of this book, and I ordered it right after getting the email. However mysterious the mind-body problem may be for us, we should always remember that it is a solved problem for nature. It is with sadness that every so often I spend a few hours on the internet reading or listening to the mountain of stupidity dressed up with the word quantum. Quantum medicine, holistic quantum theories of every kind, mystical quantum spiritualism, and so on and on in an almost unbelievable parade of quantum nonsense. Worst of all is the pseudo-medicine. Every so often I receive an alarmed email from a relative of one of its victims. My sister is being treated by a quantum medic. What do you think of it, Professor? I think the worst it is possible to think. Try to rescue your sister immediately. When it comes to medicine, this is the kind of situation in which the law, I believe, should be involved. Everyone has the right to seek to cure themselves as they see fit. But none has the right to cheat their fellow citizens with the kind of quackery that can cost lives. Someone else writes me. I have the sensation of having already lived this moment before. Is this a quantum effect? For pity's sake, no. What does the complexity of our memory and of our thoughts have to do with quanta? Absolutely nothing. Quantum mechanics has nothing to say about paranormal phenomena, alternative medicine, or the influence of mysterious waves or vibrations. For heaven's sake, I am in all favor of good vibrations. I, too, once had long hair tied with a red bandana and sat cross-legged next to Allen Ginsberg chanting Om. But the delicate complexity of the emotional connection between ourselves and the universe has as much to do with psi waves as a Bach cantata has to do with the carburetor in my old car. The world is sufficiently complex to account for the beauty of Bach's music and the good vibrations of our deepest spiritual life without the need to resort to the strangeness of quanta, or vice versa, if you will. The reality of quanta is much stranger than all the delicate, mysterious, enchanting, intricate aspects of our psychological reality and spiritual life.